You know, I really felt with this Mercury retrograde coming upon us that I had my shit together. I really felt that um, I know what Mercury retrograde is about. I know how to manage it and, and manipulate it and neutralize it. I've got all the tools in front of me and still today, this morning, I woke up not okay. So this Mercury retrograde is not just the communication. It's not your car working or not working. It's not those things. What it is, it's about what's inside because Mercury is in Scorpio. And so what is happening is the retrograde is you have to deal with all of the stuff that you've put aside, stuffed, blocked, decided, ah, I'm not going to deal with it right now. And this Mercury retrograde is all about bringing all that stuff up and saying, girl, you got to get with it and figure it out. And that's where I am at. And I know that's where you're at, too. What I'm seeing is, is a lot of challenges coming up for people I see um, um, financial issues come up for people, I've seen relationship issues come up, come up for people, housing issues, and although it doesn't seem like it's Mercury retrograde, this is the stuff that we haven't dealt with, the stuff that we hung on to and said, okay, I'm just going to, you know what, I'm going to pay my taxes in a minute, I'm not, I'm, I got another minute, and then next thing you know, the IRS is calling you. So that's what this Mercury retrograde is about, and we have a few more weeks of it, so let's talk about what we're going to do to get through it. We've got our Coventry Magic Oracle cards. I'm drawing cards for all of us of how to deal and how to manage. And let's see, how do I want to phrase this? How do I use the energy that Mercury Retrograde has come is bringing into my life and have the strength, the fortitude, and the clarity? on dealing with what's coming up and is ready to be fixed. And that's what Mercury Retrograde does. It brings up the things that it's time to fix that you are ready for. So three cards. I'm going to cut the cards three pounds. This is what needs to be healed. This is what needs to be cleared. And this is what's in my blind spot and they're my resources in my blind spot. That I'm too busy fussing about what's going wrong to say, okay, this thing's going right. So this is what's healed, cleared, and blind spot. We're going to look at these together. Needed change <laughs> for healing. Healing is change. You are moving from discord to harmony. Embrace it. Hmm. I think I was told something there. Clearing. A good uh, fiery wall of protection. A good brush fire to clear the clutter can help your plans and ideas grow even faster. Okay, I think I'm getting this theme here. And here's what's in my blind spot. Oh, hilarious. Because we're dealing about with healing what's coming up. Rejuvenate yourself from the, from, the cell, from the cellular level on up. Recreate yourself as a picture of health. Okay, I think I get it. Need a change. Fiery wall of protection and prosperity. Here's the thing is you have all the tools already. That's what this is saying. You already have everything you need. And to get there, to see them, to be able to use them, is you got to embrace the fact that you're going to have to change something big. This Mercury retrograde is about changing those big things that are bothering you. Big change. But the fiery wall of protection, what that's saying is that it's time to clear out um, the things that are keeping you stuck. And that's what this Mercury retrograde is doing. So this is also saying you're going to create a protective barrier around you during this change. So you can change without everything falling apart. And then again, this one is all about you have all of your resources already. Now, how I would use these three is I would start with the needed change candle and, and just this one in the center, and I would um, write all, down all the things that are bothering me, put them under the candle, and spend some time listening to that inner voice, listening to my guides to tell me what's ready to change, what's the most important thing. Just deal with one thing right now. I would take the whole mess, I would set up an altar, put that in the middle, and then... Um, put it like a, on a big piece of paper or something, and I would literally make a, a ring of the fiery well of protection oil to represent that I am protected in what I do. I'm going to ask my guides to protect me through this so as I'm feeling really raw through this change, um, I'm not too vulnerable. And then I would take this prosperity, and I would, um, I think what I would do with this one is um, light this one in my kitchen. Not necessarily with this, not on the same altar, but to remind me as I walk through every day that I am guided and protected and filled with prosperity. And even, 
you wear this oil every day to know that the resources are all around you, you just have to wake up to it. So this is a really good remedy for this time's Mercury Retrograde. I'm going to, when we do this, I am going to, um, when we're done here, I'm going to go and light these candles and do this right now. Maybe I'll put up a picture of it.